Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today, um, well, yesterday, I built a Lego TIE Fighter. Um, and this is gonna be, like, a review on the Lego TIE Fighter I built yesterday. It took me eight hours to build this. Uh, it's because I messed up the wing. We had to redo it. I built this at my grandma's house, so I did my school... I played in the snow, and then we went to my grandma's house. We got there at 12, and the first thing I did was I opened the box. Then I went to work, and it took me from 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock. I know. Crazy. Um, so it comes with three characters, a TIE fighter pilot, it pilots the, um, it pilots the ship, pilots the TIE fighter. I've got NILA and a, an Imperial Stormtrooper. Um, if you're wondering... Yes, it can go inside. You just gotta open the hatch and open the window. You don't have to open the window, I just prefer to do it because it makes it a little easier. Because you can see a little better where you're putting in. Because when um, you do it sometimes, you just put them in like this. When you don't open the window. So you can see a little better when you put them in. So this is the front of the TIE Fighter, this is the side of the TIE Fighter, this is the back of the TIE Fighter, and this is the other side. Um, you can open the window without opening the top hatch, and you can see the pilot. You're supposed to sit your seat, not sit on the ceiling. Um, it b comes with two missiles, but the one missile, the three missiles, the third missile is an extra. Um, if you press down on this when you load it, you just gotta press down on it to fire it. I'm doing it with my toe. It went under my hoverboard. It it landed right here. I just picked it up without showing you. It landed right there. And to load to load the tie fighter, um you take the missile, you make sure the plastic parts pointed upwards and you push it inside now it's loaded it's spring loaded so when you just press down on it the top part unhooks and then it launches out because the spring pushes it out uh, on the back we've got two little lights uh, We've got some wings that connected. I kind of liked putting the wings on. Oh, and if you want to put it back in the box, if you want to put it back in the box without taking it apart, the wings off, the wings come off sort of easy. You see, I've got one wing off. You can take the other one off as well. It's easier without the missiles in it because you could accidentally get them lost. See, I've got both the wings off the TIE Fighter. So you can put this inside the box and then you can just put the wings in like this. And then they'll just fit in. So yeah, this is what the TIE Fighter looks like without the wings. 
yeah, that's how it looks without the wings. Looks odd. Sometimes when you take it off, this part will come unattached as well. Um, but that might just be for me. I don't know. So I'm just going to put it back on. Hold on. You just got to push down on it. And it goes in. Yep, that's how you can fit it inside the box. Hold on. This is gonna, I, I might as well just pause the video. My phone's low battery, so I better hurry this up. Okay, I've got the wings back on. They don't just, they don't just fall off. They stay. Uh, um, I basically just showed you the whole TIE Fighter, so, bye guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below if you have this LEGO TIE Fighter and you just watched a review for no reason, bye.